Happy Friday night, fellow comic book fans. Uh, this is the night that I review some comics from the previous Wednesday. What I'm going to do is one that I didn't like and the top three that I did. I'm going to do them separate uh, just so I can talk about each one individually. So... What did I like? What did I not like? Stay tuned. And now for the good, people. And yes, just in case you didn't see one of the other ones first. Uh, I know I'm like, these are, these are going to be a little short and a little brisk this week because... I spent the last two days in the hospital, and I was going to spend time making, you know, preparing and doing a little bit better, what I think was a little bit better of a job this week, uh, but I barely got the stuff to read, because I, like I said, I was in the hospital for two days, just got home, and so I'm going to try and do it just like I normally have been, see, <laughs> the last couple of weeks, and the next week I'll do the superior job that I wanted to, uh, but, all right. So this week, for the good, or the better, because uh, uh, second week in a row, I haven't done bad. I haven't had any bad stuff. This week would be Captain Crowley, Reluctant Midnight Monster Hunter number two of four. Okay, I don't know how many of you have been reading this, but let me give you a little breakdown. Issue number one, you have a lady by the name of Jamie who is a news reporter. She's got a bit of a drinking problem. To put it mildly. And uh, so she gets drunk right before going on air and then exposes this famous Ren Fair. For you know, were they they're famous for selling this like mead? It's supposed to be a you know famous concoction of theirs. <laughs> it exposes it as like box wine or whatever, and yeah, that's a huge thing. And she gets like shit canned. Uh, by the network because she's like, yeah, dude, babe, don't care. You're you know, you're drunk on air. You're you're drunk and. uh Fortunately, her brother owns the station, so maybe I shouldn't have said babe because her brother wouldn't have called her babe. But uh, he says, "All right, I'm gonna. I don't want to, you know, screw you over." But so there is this horror show, you know, which along the lines of like a Elvira and stuff like that. That the host is missing, called Count Crowley. You you take over. This show, and I'll let you stay on the air. She's like, no, look, look, make up. They won't know who you are. Yada yada yada. And for some reason, she um, takes the job, starts talking serious smack on the air because she's loaded again. And at the end of the issue, she goes outside, and you have this like werewolf looking for the Count Crawley guy, saying, "You're supposed to help me. You're supposed to help me." Boom, leaves there. Now, issue two picks up on that. This one deals with her in her inebriated state trying to deal with a werewolf, which she didn't believe existed before this, attacking her, trying to deal with this, and then dealing with the police when you know she wakes up the next morning. Uh it's it's funny, and then uh, slowly coming to the realization that okay, this stuff's real. What do they want with the dude? Why did he disappear? So she goes to her brother and uh, says, "What the fuck? Seriously? And what what does that put dude? He's like, I, I, you know, whatever. Our parents loved him because her parents, their parents, owned the station." <laughs> before and it's a, it's a really fun 
fun, fun issue because it miss it does the whole horror host thing where you know Peter Vincent, you know I know Avira Sven Gulli type thing, and then adds to the fact that these things are real type thing, which makes it a little bit more fun. It's by you know Black Horse Comics or Dark Horse Comics, and really, if you know if you haven't gotten it, get it because I'm going to give this a 3.75 out of 5 because it's it's so fun and it's just especially if you like you know, horror comics and I do but this is more of a you know kind of a fun horror comic than a damn this is creepy horror stuff so yeah get it, it uh, and uh, tell me tell me that I'm wrong I dare you